Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make some little expandable file folder pockets today. And I am using papers from Susan. Hello, Susan, and I'll link her below. Uh, this is Cottage Rose, so we're going to use some of her papers. Now, what I have done is created me a little template, and I printed it on the back of her sheets. Like there's a beautiful sheet and I just printed it on the back and then I just cut a few out and what these are going to be is they expand a little bit because I put the as you can see I put the folded paper on the inside I didn't want to glue them down here because you're going to lose part of your pocket if you do that so I folded the paper and put them together that way and let's say this was the page that they were going on then I would put one here, and then another one will go down here. I'll show you in a journal when I make a few more of them. So, like I said, all I did was cut them out, and I cut a few out. I haven't cut those out yet. But I wanted to make a few of these because I thought it would be fun, and it'll be something different to use. Now, I've got these little strips that came from the papers when I cut them. And I'm going to use those for the inside. You could use book pages, which is what I used on that other one. But I'm just going to use these for the inside of it. Hang on, I got something stuck right there. <laughs> I kept feeling it, but I couldn't tell what it was. Let's see. I think this one will be about the right width. Yeah. Let's use this. And all I do is just kind of, sort of, decide how long I need it. So that one's for that side, and then this one for this side. They don't have to come all the way up. They don't have to be perfect. Don't worry about any of that. Now you're just going to take this little piece and you're going to fold it in half, or somewhat in half. And then I like to make sure that it's creased well. So there's that one. See, I can't fold in half to save my life, I'm telling you. My folds are not straight, but that's okay. They don't really have to be. All right, I'm going to lay that aside. Now, I'm going to go and ink a little bit on the inside here because this is going to be the top part that's going to show. The sides are not going to show, so you don't have to worry about that. But this little part might, so I'm just going to ink a little bit there. And now we are going to put some glue on these and glue them down. This is going to be a quick and easy project. And I will uh, leave the template for this over on my blog. You can, you can have it. I just uh, grabbed it a little while ago and made three on a page because I didn't want them too big. So I just put three to a page so that I could would be able to stack the pockets. Now you're going to use the folded side. So see, this is my fold. The folded side to the outside in order to make these. So don't put it this way with the fold in. You're going to put the fold to the outside. And then don't come all the way down to the bottom because you don't want, you know, you don't want it hindering your fold up of this little thing, which it probably won't anyway, but I would just not come all the way down there. Now I made this one a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, when this folds up, you just don't want it to show right here. So I just cut that off, and let's see if I can get that little bit of blue paper right there off where the glue was. If I can't, it'll be okay, but we'll just try it. Okay, so when you're measuring your sides, make sure you measure the shortest side because you've got that little cutout for your tab. Now, I want to put a little something on this tab, and I'm probably just going to put a little word so I'm going to grab some of our small words, and these are also on our blog as a freebie. 
they they're probably over like a couple of years ago or something they're going to be over in the archives but I just printed these um, probably three to two or three to a page. I don't remember how many. And it made them smaller because I want a little small one to go right there. I don't want anything big. This one just says timeless and it's tiny. So if you want any of your digitals small, just print them two or three or four to a page. See? So that's good. Now, I'm just going to ink a little bit around it, just so I don't have any of that white showing. There we go. That'll work. I don't mind that little bit of white down below it. That's fine. You could ink on that too if you wanted, but I'm going to leave it. So we're going to have a tag in here anyway, so it's not going to show. Now you're going to put your glue on here, and then you're going to fold that over, and just press it down, and make sure that it presses down real well to that edge, to that other edge. And now you have a little expandable pocket. It's not glued down tight on the sides, so this full width is your pocket. You can put some larger little tags and things in there. Okay, and we're going to do this side is the front side. Let me lay that over there. All right, I want to fill this area right here with something. So I'm thinking a book page. You know, I always think of a piece of a book page. It's just one of those things that you can put down and it kind of helps you with one layer and then you can put other things on top of it. So let's see. don't think I want it going up quite that tall, so we're going to trim it off right there. There we go. And this could be anything. You could use your washi, you could use... You know, other pieces of paper, like some of that other paper, some of your scraps, whatever you might have. I'm just going to start out with a piece of book page. That gives me a little bit of font on there. And then we can layer. Okay. So we have flower, a flower on there already. We could put a bird on. We could put a little, some kind of little label on. Let's see if I have a bird that's small enough. That one blends too much. Nope. Okay, we could put that one on there, but I think I still want something else across there. So let's see what we got right here. Just got a few little odds and end pieces. Okay, let's put this little label behind him. And it's just a plain label that came out of the Tim Holtz packet. I think it was Curator or something like that. It's one of his ephemera pieces. And then we can set that bird right there. Just gives him a little bit more to sit on. Another layer. Okay. So there's our little birdie. And I'm feeling like I need another little label or something up here at the top. So let's go through these labels. Let's see, there's one. I don't mind that one. It just says choices. So we got timeless choices. All right, so there's our second little pocket. So that one would sit on a page. Let's just pretend. 
that this is our journal page right here. So this one would sit at the top like that or bottom, it doesn't matter. And then that one would sit there and they'd sit close to the edge and then it'll have some tags inside there. So you've got some little stacked expandable journal pockets. And the back side's going to get glued down so you don't have to worry about that part unless you don't want to glue the back side down and then you can do whatever you would like on there. Okay, let's fold this one up. Now they have a little line in the middle but I just kind of eyeball it and fold it like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my glue here. Uh, glue. <laughs> add my ink here. This is ink, Edith. It's not glue. Add a little bit of ink here. Okay. And then we need a little word or something there. So let's go ahead and look and see what we have in here. We could put one. Uh, this is Nancy's Fancy's Beads on Etsy, I believe. Let's see. Well, that's a little bit big, so we can't put that one on there. We'll have to put another one of ours on there. That one's a little bit too big. We could put that one on there, just trim the ends off just a tiny bit. Oops, try to trim them straight, which is hard for me. There we go. I got that little word on there. And then I want to put something on here. I think I'll grab a dolly and put that on there so that we can have something a little bit to embellish with. Not that one. That one is matches too well. Maybe that one will be all right. I'm going to ink around the edges a little just to give it some dimension. And I think I'm going to kind of offset it just a little bit over to that area. And then we'll put, let's put a flower or something on there. This side doesn't have any flowers. Now these are the flowers that I got from Journal Say yesterday. I think I showed them in my video. Now that one's, those are going to be a little bit small, I think. These are not very big. So, let's go to our larger flowers. And this one is purple, but I think I'm still going to use it. I don't know where my pink ones went to. They have gone walkabout, as they say. Oh, I don't mind that at all. That'll work. So, let's put that on there. And then I thought I'd grab one of these. This is also from Journal Say. And thank you guys. A lot of you went over last night and made some purchases from them through my affiliate link. And I appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. Well, I say a lot. I get a, I get a little bit of money, like six or eight cents, <laughs> depending on how big your order is. But, you know, every dime helps these days. That's the way I look at it. I'm just trying to find one that's goes pretty well. I think that one goes okay. That will work. Just something to give the back a little bit more dimension there. And this, these are stickers. Now someone asked me about this tool. This tool has long since been discontinued. I've had mine forever. As you can see, the end is bent and I've had it a long, long time. But we do have, and I'll grab it in just a minute. I've tried to get companies to make these for me, but I can't get anybody to say that they'll make them without charging me an arm and a leg. So, so far I haven't found anybody. All right, we're gonna, this is also a sticker, and we're going to put that down. Put that right there. Now, Susan's papers have beautiful um, 
images on them, so normally you don't have to have anything to put on her papers, but I did cut these in different areas, so that's why I've got a few little things on there. Okay, well, my little, it comes with this set. We have these, and it's the stylus set. There's three of them, and I don't know where my third one has gone, but the third one has the point on it like this, the sharp point, where you can pick things up. So if you want one, we have the stylus. I just use this one because I'm so used to grabbing it, but the other one works just as well. Okay, let's grab us a piece of paper. And this one looks like the right size right here. So, what have you guys been doing? I tell you, I have gotten into documentaries, and I, I think I'm about... I'm going to have to stop. <laughs> I've watched so many lately. I, I ran out of series to watch. I had watched everything that I could think of that was, you know, worth watching. Of course, there's a lot out there that I won't watch because they're a little bit off color. But um, I had finished my last series that I was watching and I couldn't really find anything. And I had worked on digitals until I was tired. My eyes was tired, so I thought, well, I need to I need to just look at the TV for a while because that doesn't hurt my eyes. And <laughs> I started watching documentaries on Pompeii and when it was destroyed by the volcano. And oh my goodness, I am addicted now. I have watched so many episodes of that. It's very interesting to me. may not be to everybody, but it is to me. And then, then I've watched some on Yellowstone and how it, uh, you know, where all the hot springs and all that come from. Of course, I knew it was volcanic uh, action going on there, but I've watched a lot of documentaries on that and just different things. It's just... I don't know. Stuff like that is interesting to me. I like learning. I don't think you're ever too old to learn. Keeps your mind sharp, too, I think. Well, I don't know how sharp my mind is, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my kids would probably disagree. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And then I'm just going to put a little ink around it. Isn't that cute? I just think they turn out cute. And they're, they're going to be very useful in our journals. Because, you know, sometimes you just don't want um, a big pocket in there. You want something smaller that you can put some small things in. So these are going to be just the right size. I'm going to, now I know that flower is sideways. I'll tell you what, I think we're going to do this one next. Let's do this one next. This is a middle one. They're, um, they're right, left, and center is what they are. So you should, should be able to have the different ones. And yeah, this side, good. We've got the, the writing the right way up. That's good. And that was, you know, that was trial and error on printing because I wasn't sure which way I needed to put it in there to print this on the back. And if you don't want to print it on your paper, you can just print you one out on a piece of paper that's kind of sturdy and use it for a template and just trace it out on whatever paper you have. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make my little expandable pieces. I like that I saved all of these little pieces. I just couldn't throw any of her paper away. I love it. She has me spoiled. All right, I'm going to trim a little bit of that off. Make sure that I put a nice crease in there. And see, mine's crooked, but it doesn't matter as long as you put, put it down straight. Don't worry about if you folded it straight. Just put it down straight. And put it right up at the edge. Okay. 
So there's that one. <clears throat> Let's see if I got another that's kind of thin. I don't want a real thick one. I'm going to tear this one down. No, I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit. It's a little bit wide. And all you need to do is just glue these little pieces down real well so that they don't hang up on your uh, tag when you're going to put your tag down in there. So just make sure that you glue them real well. And that's all you have to do. Okay, there's that one. Okay, I'm going to trim just a tiny bit like that and like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom because I made these a little bit longer than I did the others. That'll just give us that extra room to fold. Oh, my, my mat is pitiful. i got to get another mat. It, everything sticks right here. And I know someone said, well, you can put wax paper and different things down to, you know, catch that glue and ink and things. I know, and I know I can do that. But when you're filming, anything that you put down, especially my camera, it picks it up. And, and just like it did that white mat that day, it just it made it look horrible. So I have to be careful what I put down uh, when I'm filming. Yeah, that works. So, <clears throat> I try not to put anything white down or anything like that because it does change the coloration on my camera. All right, now what shall we do? I don't think this one's going to need a lot. Do you? I don't think so. We could... Let's see. Nope, I don't think that. You know, we could come in and just put another little flower there. Let's put a little piece of doily. Now that doily is broken, but it'll still be okay. So we'll cover part of it up anyway. <clears throat> and I'm going to cover that word up because since the, we don't have the rest of the sentence, that word doesn't really apply here. Okay, these are little stickers as well. Let's see where I want it. I think I want it right there. Oh yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to take a little piece of this washi. Oops. <clears throat> I have lots more of this washi coming. It should be here in the next maybe week, I think. So if that's something, if you missed out on the first batch and you would like to get some of this, we should have plenty more on the way. Right, how are we going to do this? Put it that way, maybe? I don't want to put it even with anything, so let's do it like that. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm just going to wrap that little bit around. And then we need some type of little label, or maybe a number on this one. What about a, a Tina number? This, these are from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy. I love, love, love her numbers. They come in the different sizes, and I like the small ones. So... I grabbed these, but now you can also, if you get the, if you buy just the large ones, you can print them two to a page, and they'll come out small. So there's that one. Isn't that cute? I love that writing right there. All right, I think we'll make. Let's cut one out from here. I think I want to cut this one over here out so I can see if I can get those birds. Now I'm just going to cut it. You could put it in your trimmer. These lines are straight. I'm going to try to make one that just has two to a page and make them a little bit bigger the next time so that you can use them not double but just single if you want to. Those I might get those made tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. 
working on a different digital right now. This is just something that I already had the little template in my stash and I just um, put it in there and tripled it. And you can print it on the front if you want these little black lines to show. I didn't want my black lines to show, so I printed it on the back. Let's hope that my paper's printed the right way up. Okay, and there's a good piece right there to use for the sides. Okay, let's see. We go that way. Oh yeah, we'll have our birds. They all they're coming into the scene. So, but if you know if you put it that way, your butterflies upside down. But you want it this way anyway because you want that to show. Like I said, it just I just threw mine in the printer and printed. I didn't even pay attention to whether I had it right side up or upside down. But you can take your time and or just print out a you know, a template and then trace it onto your paper if you want. If you want to make sure you get something in particular on yours. But I think that whole page right there is pretty, so and that will work. I'm going to put a little bit more ink down there. Okay, now we'll use this little piece for our side pieces so we don't waste anything on this particular project. So that will be one. And then we need to measure from here down for the other. Okay. And then fold them in half. Now you can put this in a little scoreboard and score it if you want. I just do that way. Okay. Now we'll put these little side pieces on here. Uh, I hope I got the right one on the right side. Maybe I did. Yeah, I think I did. It's a little bit tall, and we'll just trim the top of it off. I didn't glue it all the way, so there we go. We got that. We'll glue this down. And if you didn't want full pockets, you could just glue the sides of your these little file folders, but I find when I do that, I end up closing up half of my pocket, and I don't like to do that. I like to have the full width of the pocket, so this is just one of the ways that you can do that. Go ahead and ink it up before I start embellishing. I think we'll put this little word on there. It says inspire. And Susan always inspires me with her beautiful collections. There we go. I have another little piece of this washi tape laying on my desk. So I am going to use it. Because if I don't, I'll end up losing it. You know how small it is. Well, how clear it is. It's not small, it's clear. Put that down there. And then I have a little blue bird that looks kind of like those birds. <laughs> And I thought I would put him like he's going away from the flowers. So he's already done his eating and he's headed out of town. And the other ones are just now hidden in. So maybe he ate it all up from them. He is going to take him a siesta. So I'll put him right there. And then I have this little ticket. Again, this was laid on my desk over there. I happened to see it and it had some blue in it. I'm going to raise his little wing just a little bit, I hope. Yeah. Raise his little wing and tuck this down there. Maybe, if I can. I should have put this on first. And I didn't. It's okay, we got it. So tuck that under like that. Oh yeah, like that. 
And then I thought we would grab another little flower and put right here. Because they got to have plenty to eat, right? So we'll put that little flower between them. And then they can zoom down there and take a chunk out of it. And then I feel like I need something else up here. So I think I'm going to grab another number. Let's see. Maybe a small one. Oh, I like that one with it. I haven't used very many of these. These are a little, I don't know, almost a creamy tan color. So we'll put that right there. There we go. Cute. There's our little pocket. Make sure I haven't glued it together. Nope, I haven't. Almost, but not quite. Okay, so there is our little pocket. Now, we can make journal cards to go in these. Like I said, they're going to stack, so I'll put like one that has this tab over here, and then one that has a tab over here, and then on another page, I'll do like that, so they'll be stacked. And, you know, you can make little journal cards, or I noticed that these little mason jars that I made fit right down in there. They're not quite wide enough, but you could put them in there with something else if you wanted. I just didn't want anything like this sticking up so high that it's going to cover my wording up. So I thought I would just tuck a few, maybe a couple of these in there, or maybe just one. I think that's cute. I don't have a problem with that. Or we can just make some journal cards for them. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll make these. If you do, make sure that you go over and share it on our Facebook page. That link is always below the video. One of the admins will accept you. All you have to do is ask to join. We will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to go over and pick up your freebie, this little file folder. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.